Hello, I'm Susie Gesswein, and on behalf of the Plainfield Public Library, I would like to thank you for volunteering to be an art docent at Arts Gala. The walls of the Arts Gallery and the meeting rooms will be filled with both two-dimensional and three-dimensional work available for purchase. As a docent, you will be assisting the patrons who attend the Arts Gala with the purchase of their art. As a docent, you will also be helping to keep an eye on things, kind of providing a little bit of extra security, especially in the meeting rooms where the three-dimensional items are located. Every single piece of artwork that comes into the building during Art Scala is inventoried. It's written down on inventory sheets and also identified by an inventory number. That will come into play later when you complete the purchase form. When you arrive at the Arts Gala for your shift as a docent, please come into the conference room to pick up your supplies. They will be located in this alcove back here, and you will find everything you need, starting with your name tag, your clipboard, and if you need some extra pockets, we have these little aprons that you can use to help hold your supplies. When you pick up your supplies at the beginning of your shift, please note that there is a map of our gallery and a docent assignment sheet. And this will indicate to you what area of the Art Scala event that you will be responsible for in helping our patrons. Let's talk about the 2D artwork that will be hanging on the gallery walls. It is usually quite large. And if someone is interested in purchasing it, you will need to refer to the title card that will be hung on the wall on the lower right-hand corner of the work. Now, I've enlarged this so that you can see the information that will be on the title card. It will be the title of the painting or artwork, the artist, the medium of the artwork, the price, and most importantly, the inventory number. This inventory number, 33, is the number that was assigned to this artist, Greg May. Number four is the number that was assigned to the actual piece, Clouded Sunset. So if someone wants to buy this particular piece of work, you will then need to complete a purchase form. And once again, this is enlarged just so that you can see it a little easier on this training. So very first line, you will put the buyer's name. Second line, you will take the title of the piece, Clouded Sunset. Third line, the inventory number, very, very important. Make sure you use the complete inventory number. Again, the first digits are the artist number and the digit behind the hyphen is the piece number. Of course, you want to include the price and then we would like for you to put your initials as the docent and the date. Now. These large items that are on the walls stay there throughout the entire weekend. When someone purchases that, they can pick it up starting on Monday, but we don't want to risk any damage by taking anything down off the walls. This purchase form will then be carried downstairs to the cashier's table. We have some very energetic young people signed up as runners to do this for you. They will probably be kind of floating around at the top of the stairs, and I will be sure to make introduce you to the runners so that you know how to get these forms downstairs. After you have completed the purchase form for the buyer is to complete a sold tag. Once again, this is an enlarged model. It'll actually be about the size of a name tag. So on this, please put the buyer's name. Last name is fine. We don't need the complete name, but we also want the item number. This is the inventory number uh, on this form. You will be using a piece of double-sided tape 
to attach this to the corner of the title card. We don't want to cover up the important information, especially the artist's name, but then it will be on the wall below the item. Now we're going to talk about the three-dimensional items, which will be in Macmillan A and B. Like I said before, every single art piece that comes into the library has an inventory number and the inventory sticker. On the three-dimensional items, these are a little trickier to locate. They may be on the bottom of a bud vase or on the back of a tag on a pair of earrings, but you should be looking for a very small sticker with a hyphenated number. Now, If someone should ask you a question that you don't know the answer to, just please remember that there are other people around that you can ask and get the information. So we kind of refer to these people as our expert docents. Joanna Sproul, Laura Appleby, Monty Manning, myself, Abby Nagy can help you answer these questions. It may be something like, I like this piece, is there anything else by this artist? Or it may be, uh, how can I pay? for my purchase. So please know all this information will be on your clipboard, but we have these forms of payment that are accepted uh, here at Artscaler.